Hello, and thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nancy Perez, and I work for the Center for IDEA Early Childhood Data Systems, or the DAISY Center, which supports states in developing or enhancing their Part C and 619 state data systems and coordinating with other statewide efforts to build integrated early childhood data systems. Since 2013, DAISY has been tracking the status of state data systems with data for Part C and Part B619 to better understand state needs, to provide stakeholders with a national picture of what capacities state data systems have, and to track how those capacities are changing over time. Most recently, in the spring of 2021, DAISY collected Part C state information using a national survey developed in coordination with the IDEA Infant and Toddler Coordinators Association and a parallel survey for Part B 619 preschool. These surveys were completed by Part C and Part B 619 coordinators, data managers, and others who are familiar with the state's early childhood data systems. This presentation uses the information from the 2021 survey to report on the national status of Part C and 619 data systems on 11 key indicators of a high quality data system. The 2021 survey also provided information on state priorities for developing or enhancing their data systems and recent changes to state data systems in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. We learned that most states have child level and many states have workforce data systems, but many states cannot link to other programs, including linking data with their Part C or Part B619 counterpart or other early childhood programs. About one third of Part C programs can link data with other early childhood programs and about two thirds of Part B619 programs can do so. The majority of 619 programs can link with K-12 special education and general education data, but fewer than one third of C programs can do so. We also found that states continue to work towards building data systems that can address critical questions that can drive program improvement, including being able to link data across programs and building their state capacity to use data. We also found that states recognized a need and were able to change their data systems in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. More than half of states reported that they made changes to their data systems, including adding response options to existing data elements or adding new data elements. As part of our work on the State of the States, DAISY publishes interactive State of the States maps on the Center's website at www.daisycenter.org. These maps provide further insight into the national status of Part C and Part B619 data systems broken out by 11 key indicators of a high quality state data system. The maps also provide the option to view a state profile on these indicators as shown here with Pennsylvania. So now speaking of Pennsylvania, I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Emily Hackelman to shed some light on Pennsylvania's state data systems and experience at the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi, thank you, Nancy. My name is Emily Hackelman, and I am the Part C Data Manager for the state of Pennsylvania. As you saw in the previous slide, Pennsylvania's Part C and B619 program has an early childhood data system that has most of the key features of a high quality data system. Because of our robust data system, we were able to react quickly to the impacts of COVID on our early intervention system. To help with a bit of context to the information I will be sharing, let me tell you a little bit about Pennsylvania's early intervention program. Pennsylvania's program is a coordinated birth to five-year-old program. However, some of the examples I'll share um, during the remainder of this presentation have more of a Part C focus. In fiscal year 2020-2021, we provided early intervention services to 42,360 infants and toddlers. Our statewide case management system, which is called Pelican Early Intervention or Pelican EI, captures demographic data and is used to develop evaluation reports and IFSPs and is linked to the Part C payment system. The system is used by our Part C and Part B 619 programs supporting approximately 50,000 active records at any given time. In March of 2020, as Pennsylvania implemented a series of rigorous mitigation measures, there were many concerns about the impact COVID would have on our child find efforts, in particular referrals, 
and the ability to provide early intervention services with the COVID mitigation guidelines in place. Our first priority was to use our data system to monitor changes in the number of children who are referred to the early intervention program. In the beginning of the months of the pandemic, particularly starting in March of 2020. Pennsylvania Early Pelican EI is typically used to capture a number of children enrolled in the Part C program by month for the annual performance reports, C5 and C6 data. But further information regarding child find is captured in Pelican EI. It wasn't often tracked with the intensity needed during the start of the pandemic. When Pelican EI was designed, a key feature, in addition to the features that were described in the prior slides, was flexibility in the system. This included the flexibility in the development of reports to address specific data questions and the ability to quickly gather and analyze data. The flexibility of Pelican EI allowed Pennsylvania to document changes in referral data by month and to compare this in-time data with historical data. Pelican EI also allowed the referral data to be tracked geographically and by specific early intervention program. It was particularly helpful to be able to see the direct impacts of referrals as COVID was impacting our state. And due to this flexibility, Pennsylvania did not need to add responsive, response options or add quantitative data fields. So because Pelican EI is a dynamic and flexible data system, Pennsylvania was able to customize reports and monitor referral data more frequently. Our second priority was to continue to provide early intervention services while much of Pennsylvania was navigating the rigorous COVID mitigation efforts. Across the state, the Part C program moved from providing 99.94% .94 of early intervention services in person in natural environments to providing early intervention services through tele-intervention. Providers of early intervention services responded quickly to the switch to tele-intervention services. Unfortunately, we were unable to use Pelican EI to document the change to virtual services early in the pandemic. But the flexibility of Pelican EI didn't work for the, for, unfortunately, the flexibility of Pelican EI didn't work for this data need. However, Pennsylvania was able to use the Part C fiscal management and payment systems, which are linked to Pelican EI to capture the use of tele-intervention. As COVID continues to impact our early intervention program, Pennsylvania has continued to use the Part C fiscal management and payment systems to document a family's preference to the delivery of early intervention services through tele-intervention. In conclusion, Pelican EI, because of the focus on a key data system features and system flexibility, was able to meet our priority for tracking referrals during the pandemic. And when Pelican EI wasn't able to meet our data needs during COVID, like to document family preference for tele-intervention, our linked data systems were able to be used. Thank you very much for your attention to our poster presentation. Questions are encouraged and may be directed to those mentioned in this final slide. Have a great day.